Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica Steele and you're the Chocolate Chef and more. And today we are going to making these amazing uh, washcloths and, and the granny stitch. So you can see that's the stitch we are going to create it. But let me just let me show you how they look. You see, you can do it for a dish glass, you can do it for a wash glass or for whatever. But this one we're gonna we're gonna use them for a wash glass, you know. And um if you follow been following me, um I have a um um for this month i will create a spot set so last week i did a um, tutorial for the scrubby face so this week is going to be for uh washcloth so yeah so this is what we are going to crochet today so only what you need is one of skin of this yarn this is the yarn that i use but you can use in any cotton any of uh, fat fiber that you like but it had to be a hundred percent cotton that's for my recommendation okay and this one is hobby and they have 50 grams you're gonna need only 50 grams and um they recommend uh 3.5 or 4 millimeters but in this one i'm gonna use a number five so um and this one's right here i use four and this one that's what I use size number four and the same thing I just just the, the stitcher looks so more different but because I use bigger size the hook and this one so um pair of scissors and your knitting needle and this is how all, all you need for we can create it, this one right here so um yeah get your tools and get your um yarn ready and let's go crochet and so like i said i, I want to say to repeat this again this could be so simple so quick and yeah hopefully you like it and you can make it and i'll see you in a second okay everyone so this is gonna be so easy and quick um uh this uh wash clothes okay we are going to start with 40 change this one is multiple the um sorry everyone i had to close the, i had to close the door okay they have to be multiple the four okay so we are going to start with 40 change so doing your 40 change and when you had your 40 change um i will be back with you and i will tell you the next step okay so we have our 40 now we are going to chain one wrap the yarn and you're going to count one two three and the four we are going to do our, our second um, double crochet so the three chains right here is count with one so yeah and the and the same and the same we put our, our second double we are going to put another double and and just like that so now we are not going to change we're going to wrap the yarn and we are going to count one two three and the four we are going to put our hook in there and we are going to do our first double okay and the same that we have put our first double right here we are going to do two more so this is super easy everyone this is just only the granny stitch and but you want to do just doubles or half doubles any stitch you know um for these washcloths you're welcome so one two three and four and we are going to count this all to the end to start that we start now and um all to the end of this row and i will tell you what is going to be the next step and one two three and four and keep going everyone and i'll meet you at the end um this part right here okay and i will tell you the next step okay so i'm right here and i'm going to count one two three and four and the last one we are going to do all the last three doubles okay so and there you go so this is how they look 
now this is how they look at first um you know around around about the granny stitch so now we are going to chain one two three and we are going to turn our work and this is right here super easy and you see this space right here this where um we are going to put our three doubles first three doubles okay so wrap the yarn we are now going to put it right here we're just going to put all the whole dirt thing and, and right here like uh, this way okay so like that and pull up and one and put it two and wrap the yarn and do it one more time and one more so there's three doubles and just like that we are not change you know we just wrap the yarn and go to the next right here and we are going to put all three doubles okay and there we go wrap the yarn and the same thing you know this is just if this is gonna be regular stitch you know this is a granny stitch and um i think i mean something really easy and simple and i know a lot of people can do the granny stitch so this is amazing so i'm gonna be continue and let me finish this with you you know and there we go and remember we are not doing the change like our original it is we just wrap the yarn and go to the next okay and and doing your doubles grab the yarn and a double wrap the yarn go to the next and you double we almost get it done this part right here okay wrap the yarn and last three double crochet okay okay wrap the yarn you're gonna count one two and three right here count one two and the three right here is where we are going to put last double one and two now chain one chain two chain three turn your work okay and this is how they look so far and now you're going to continue repeat but let me show you this part right here so we chain three wrap the yarn and you see this right here this is square right here not in here and oh we're gonna get the whole thing okay so count one two okay let me see let me show you again you see three so this is one two and three okay and sorry everyone okay so remember one two and three okay so wrap the yarn okay and right here you see my finger that's where we are going to put our two doubles one and two doubles okay so the three change that we did is count with one double wrap the yarn and go to the next the same thing we we doing so do your three doubles and just like that so um you are going to continue and you're going to repeat every all the same thing when you have 18 okay 18 18 uh you're going to repeat so we have one two three four five and when you have your 18 um rounds okay rows or rounds you know so continue and i'll be back when i have my 18th 
and I'm going to tell you the next step. Like I said, this is going to be simple, so easy. This is not, I don't want to get some stitch so complicated and too many or change colors. And this is something simple and easy and quick. So I'll be back and let me let me get it done and I will show you the, the next step, okay? Okay, so I'm almost get it done. So my 18th and... I'm going to get it done my three, it's right here, my three doubles, and the last one right here, I'm going to put my last double. Now, right here is how they look, our um, washcloth. So simple, so beautiful, so easy. Now, in here, you can get it done if you want to. You can say, okay, that's it. I'm not going to do nothing else. And it's just like, you know. So let's do. Um, I'm going to do. Because I really like how they look now. So really simple. We're going to chain one, two, and three. Okay. And two right here. And this part right here. You see. We are going to put this one right here with the slip stitch. Just like that and chain one chain two and to the right here these two this is one and two we are going to do a, a slip stitch sorry I have to be a slip stitch okay just like that one two and to the next right here I mean you're really going to see you don't have to skip so many you can skip one and two or either way you like to put it like that but i like to put it better and like that you know get it just two i'm not gonna do a single a run because i really i like this idea and i think that's gonna be better combined with the um i i mean that's you know i think that's gonna be look at this how they look because if i put it uh, a single i have to do another one and it's just gonna be like that's too much just you know one two and now again and get two just like that you see that one and two and finish with the last stitch chain one chain two and again right here let's see there you go one and two and a slip stitch one and two there you go right here okay okay so chain one chain two and right here let me just get it close and there we go it's a lift stitch so chain one chain two and again right here okay there you go so oops chain one oops chain one and chain two and right here i'm going to put my next chain one chain two and the next they don't have to be so um um uh, how you say they don't have to be too um separate between the other ones um that's one thing we don't want it because we want those to look like a little waves you know i know this is this is the front how they look and this is the back how they look you can choose whatever for me is it's okay whatever is not matter you know i really i love the both ways you know and yeah so but if you like to this one can be in the front. Well, you have to do one more uh, um, round about the um, uh, round about this granny stitch. So that way 
it can be work and you know for the stitch i mean the front and the back but for me this okay is just that way you know and i really like that way so and either way anyway they this way or the other way for me they look so good so but if you kind of like oh no i i like to see the front and the back and just like that you know so and continue and just let me work this one here with you and i will now here's the thing okay if you want to um make this way you're going to need only one of skin of this for the whole completely um uh, dish clutch but if you want to make it more um the single and stuff like that well you're gonna need more yarn so that's what i like this way and it looks so good you know so one two and go to the next one two and to the next right here and the corner let me show you real quick that's what you need to do in each okay so one two oops let me let me carefully right here okay right here we get an in the corner for the first one so now here was one two three okay and the same we are going to put our stitch a slip stitch and just like that one two and go right here you see um the our first a granny stitch right here okay is where we are going to put our first slip stitch one two right here in the middle but we are going to get just like that okay and a slip stitch chain one okay chain two and right here you see this hole right here this we are going to put the slip stitch one two and keep going and just remember in each corner you have to put three and you are going to put your first um the slip stitch and the same that you put your um your two change okay so let me get it done this and i will be back see how the i mean i really like this way because it's kind of like little you know um little poof in there but it's not there's not this poof stitch but you know i really like it so um but yeah but if you want to do it just a single or a run but remember you have to gonna use more yarn okay or do it less uh let's roll about the the granny stitch and that's gonna be enough for you so let's continue let me get it done and i'll be back okay right here so quick let me show you what i'm doing i did change two okay so i'm gonna skip one and the second one i'm going to do my slip stitch chain one chain two skip one and the second you are going to do your slip stitch chain one chain two count one two and just like that one two and you're always going to skip one and the second you are going to do your slip stitch you know i would just want to show you what i'm doing and this one and almost keeps getting done and yeah so like i said this is so simple so quick so easy you know and so yeah hopefully you like you like it and you can make it and right here see because we skip it one we skip it one and the last one we are going to do our last slip stitch now here is optional okay but i'm gonna make in the little um um this part right here so this part right here so we can handle in the bathroom this is an optional, but if you don't want to do it, you skip this part and you're going to get it done. Okay. So chain one, chain two, chain three, chain four, chain 
five, chain six, okay? Seven and eight. Now, right here, we're just gonna do a slip stitch and just like that, okay? This is so simple, like I said, so simple, so easy and quick. Let me get a pair of scissors and oops cut it and finish see that and look at this this is what we want um how the look i need to hide the yarn okay and this one's too so this one is gonna be the part that you can handle with the um with your you know um in the bathroom or whatever you know you're going to use this one for a dish clash or wash clash for whatever you like to use so what do you think so that's you know so yeah so let me just hide the yarn and i have to go back in here and like i tell you like, and i will show you how much yarn i have left for this so you can see i just choose only one now because this one is not as small it's not it's it's kind of like a medium there's not even so big this are really uh, it's a really really nice size for you know for a washcloth and i think you know if you're making this for whatever you like to make for a gift or you want to use in this stitch for a kitchen you know there's a gist of it to you and this one let me cut it because i already had it and i was crochet now let me show you the yarn this is how much yarn that i have left for just for one so like i said you're gonna need only one you know so now let me this is the there you go so this is the right so what do you think everyone so simple so easy so cute and just you can fold it like this you know and there we go and we have our you know this one right here like i said this one i did with the single you know and um but at this one i use a small size the hook this one it was four point it was five and this one i use 4.4 or uh yeah four size four i use and in this one so this one is more is the stitch is more small and of course doing um you know i i use it exactly i use it one skin of yarn to the same thing but like i said i use the size is small the hook and yeah so yeah so this is pretty much everyone i hopefully you like this video don't forget to leave your comment if you're making this one well let me know send me a picture and i would love to um share in my uh, community tab or my facebook group i want to leave my facebook group and my um instagram you're gonna see right here the links and everything but also the links is gonna be in the description box below this video thank you so much everyone have a wonderful and beautiful and amazing yarn day see you in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh,